Is the church still open, do you know? I'm sorry, it's shut in oh, January. Oh, okay. There's a parcel shut, so um, oh, I, would take you, I would take you back in there, but I'm rushing to No, no, really no, sorry. I, no, no, that's sorry. fine. On the Benefice website, so if you want to drop me a yeah. line, you know, and then um, we oh, can okay, make sure that Oh, okay, that's very interesting, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know, you can make sure that it's open. Uh, yeah. What's um, your name? Mandy. Mandy, Mandy okay. Um, um, so, yeah, normally... Um, during sort of like from the I think it's the seventh or eighth of every Wednesday, whatever it is, when the castle reopens. So if you have a look when that reopens, that's when we will. Yeah. But oh, for okay. the last month, you see this road's been closed because of open reach. So we thought there's yeah. no point. There's no, no point having no. the church. No one yes, come. I, I, um, but yes, from February it will be open between minimally between 9.30 and 3.30 every day. Sometimes yeah, right. people open it earlier and they shut it later, but those are our core hours. Yeah. And in the summer, they shut it from 4.30 onwards. It's once it's lighter. But if yes. I uh, send you an email and we can uh, yeah, arrange absolutely. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the other thing that's, um, I know, I've mean, not been in church for that long, but we don't have a proper graveyard map of this. Well, so we don't really know who who's okay. around where people come and try and look for ancient relatives and we yeah. just have no idea I'm afraid. Yeah. But, oh, okay. yeah, we, so we maybe just generally have a part of the ex <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the other grave we have in here is Gloria Honeyford's daughter, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the one of the main reasons we come. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Go right down to the end and on the right hand side, yeah. that's where Karen is. Right, okay. uh, she's in the modern bit. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, much for your help. Uh, don't hesitate yeah. to get in touch if you want to okay. come back. Okay, thank, thank you. Very thank much. you. Hi, guys, welcome to another Grim Seeking adventure. We are here to pay our respects to. Karen Keating, sorry Karen, um, come on in, oh by the way, uh, we are, where are we? Uh, St. Pete St. Peter's of Eva. Yeah, okay, come on in. So here we are, we, we've found Karen's grave, daughter of TV presenter, radio presenter, Gloria Honeyford. Um, and here's the bio just before we uh, pay our respects. Karen Keaton was the daughter of television and radio personality Gloria Honeyford OBE and BBC producer Don Keaton. Karen was born in Fulham, West London in 1962. Shortly after her birth, the family relocated to Northern Ireland. At 21 years old, she graduated from the University of Bristol with a BA Honours degree in English and Drama. Karen's big break would be in 1986 when she joined the BBC's kids programme Blue Peter. But it's not going to be me. She left in 1990 to join BBC Radio 5. Hello, this is Radio 5. I'm Karen Keating and you're listening to Euromix. Which was on the air between 1990 and 1994. Karen was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1997. She died at just 41 in 2004 at her mother's home in Kent. Yeah, it's been yeah. fantastic. Do you mean to try and zoom in a bit? Karen Louisa Lindsay Nee Keating. Yeah, she's uh, The 5th she? of October 1962 to the 13th of April 2004. Um, she's she's mother. Precious and cherished daughter of Gloria and Don. Che treasured mother of Charlie and Gabriel, I think. Yes. And much loved wife of R Russ, is that? Yes. And I, I just can't, and I don't want to touch... Yeah. But it's beautiful, isn't it? I bet she, she was really a bright spark whenever you saw her on television. Yeah, because she done Blue Peter, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, she did the Blue Peter. She achieved 
so much. I mean, to it, be honest, in her yeah. short part, lifetime. But I mean, obviously, apart from being the daughter of Gloria Anfield, her main what it will be Blue Peter. Yeah, that's what she'll be known for. Children she, she of today won't know her. No, no, possibly not. But, uh, but of your generation, yeah, generation. yeah, I I do remember seeing her. And she, I I loved her smile. You know, mm. she she. I know it may may sound uh, somewhat corny, but she had a smile that if you were feeling down, down if you were had the most, you, you know baddest of days you switch her on and she she had the ability to she was just one of these people that ra- radiated warmth and happiness and and, and it I, when i heard i don't know how old i would have been actually in 2004 23 23 so, so but i do remember uh, her, her death and i i thought i thought at the time not Karen. She, she's so young. Don't you just love, love the uh, yeah. the border, the bush border? Mm. It's, it's lovely. No, it doesn't say. I, I thought it may be from Gloria. Do you know what? Out of all the celebrity dra- graves we've featured on the channel, this was the easiest to find. Yeah. Wasn't it? Mind you, it was pointed out to us, though. So. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, okay. <laughs> That may have. <laughs> <laughs> that may have. <laughs> that may have made. I, I just, just love it. So Karen, um, I'm so glad I got an opportunity to pay our respects. Okay, Karen, we're going to um, have a peace. wander, a mooch uh, around this lovely cemetery.